In the previous video, we looked at the user interface. Now let's create a simple part. And you'll generally create these starting with primitives. I'm looking at the box. And you'll see how it's snapping on the plane. We'll just put it in the center. And I can change the values. Height of 50, length of 50, and I'm tabbing between each of these values, and a width of 40. I press the Enter key, but you could click outside of the box to finish the process. Selecting that primitive, I'm going to apply a material. As I move my cursor over the materials, I get a preview in the background. Here are metals. We also have paint, plastic, and wood. Let's go down to the bottom and select titanium. I'm not going to spare any expense here, so right-click, assign that to the selection. And the material is added. Let's delete that one. And look at how we can create shapes from a sketch. We have a number of options. I'm going to use the rectangle. Select my sketch plane and then click and drag to create the rectangle. Once I've created the rectangle, I can construct an extrusion. I can drag the arrow and I get nominal values. If I want a more accurate value, I can key that in. Again, just clicking outside or pressing the Enter key. Go into the Home view. My sketch is still visible. You may need that initially, but eventually you'll want to turn off the visibility so you can hide the sketches. Let me just uh, zoom out just a little bit. Now I created this cube by going into the Construct Extrude. Inside there we also have Sweep, Revolve, and Loft. Let's go to Modify and look at an example of that. I'm going to add a fillet to the top four edges. A fillet is just a rounded corner. It takes off those sharp edges. I'm going to give that a value of 2 millimeters. Have a look at that, and that completes the creation of a simple part.